info and time or whatever. Okay. Okay, what is your name and where are you from? Uh, my name is Jimmy. I'm from Philadelphia. Oh, Philadelphia. I think I just met a guy from Philadelphia the other day. Okay. Uh, now, what can you tell me about Philadelphia? Um, it's great. You know, city brotherly love. You just gotta watch out sometimes at, at night. <laughs> How's the uh, the cheesesteak? Oh, so great. Jim's and Gino's are overrated though. You gotta go to pass. <laughs> okay. Alright, now what were your first impressions coming to New York? Um, just like so much more things going on. Cause like I lived in Philly, like downtown after college. Yeah. And like, just like every, everything was just so much, so much more things to do, you know? Uh -huh. What do you miss about Philly? Um, I guess kind of the people, like, that's yeah. where most of my friends are, like, uh -huh. when I grew up and everything, so. And that's why it's like the city of brotherly love, you know? Uh -huh. Okay, now, do men have it easier or women have it easier in, in life in general? In life in general? Yeah. Uh, men, oh. And why? I, I think men have it easier, like, with professionally. All right. But, like, when it comes to, like, I guess, like, dating and, yeah. like, kind of, like, being social, like, uh, girls are able to make friends a lot easier than guys, I think. Yeah, I agree with that. Okay, now, it's... Let me see here. If you could redo any part of your life, what would it be? Um... I wouldn't take high school as seriously. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I took it way too serious. So what would you have done instead, though? Um, would focus you more on, like, friends. On your friends? Yeah. So nurture or cultivate stronger friendship bonds? Yeah, definitely. Because do you, do you believe that uh, the friends that you make in high school will last you a lifetime? No, I don't think that, but I think that it's definitely important. And, uh -huh. like, I think that I learned that in college, but I think that it was more important for me to learn that earlier on. Okay, now, can you do a New York accent? Uh, yeah, I'm walking here, all right? I pay $400 a second for rent, all right? My roommates are rats. Uh, I like that. Okay, uh... I eat pizza every night. So how long have you been in New York for? Uh, two years. Okay, now what are some good places to film these kinds of videos in? in what was that? What are some good places to film these kinds of videos in New York? In New York, good places to film these videos. Um, <laughs> definitely this area. Like, immediately when it was like nice out, I, I was like, come here. Another place would be like, uh, like Pier 26 or like one of the piers down there. I feel like everyone loves going by the water. Yeah. So I see you're a photographer here. Yeah. What can you tell me about the kind of pictures you take? Um, I like taking pictures of people, you know, and like just like getting the like vibes of New York City And that's always like really nice. Where do you where do you share the pictures? Or if uh, on Instagram. On in what's your Instagram page? Uh, leading line media you know what I mean? So you take it very seriously then I take it. Uh, not not really I mean, I just like I like posting my stuff so that way I can share it with other people like It's not like I like go out and try to get paid to do it. Yeah Okay, now, do you, I, I take it you, you travel around New York City a lot? Yeah, yeah, I love exploring. Come here often? Here, yeah. What is the strangest thing you've seen or heard here in this park? I just had a guy ask me, where can I get a bottle and a quarter? I think he said that. that I think that's what he said. Um, I brought my parents here once and then someone tried offering them cocaine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was definitely uh, the weirdest thing I think that happened. <laughs> right, right, yeah. There's a lot of strange things going on here. Yeah. All right, uh, ready for the next question? Okay. Where do you see yourself five years from now? Oh, God. My boss asked me this. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Um, just better off than where I am now, I guess. What general. is your biggest accomplishment in life? Um, biggest accomplishment? Wow, I feel like, uh, yeah, like on an interview type of style. Like, oh, God. Uh, professional, I guess. Um, I was able to get a job I really liked. Okay, that's great. Not everybody gets that, especially in a time of a pandemic. Yeah. Just being employed is an accomplishment in and of its own. I guess like maybe one more question. One more question? Yeah. Okay, now this is going to be a dating question. Oh boy. Now, let's say you want to approach a woman. Like, I mean, this is like dating advice, so it doesn't have to be used specifically. Okay. But let's say you're approaching a woman. I mean, you're, you're checking out a woman from across this park. What kind of signals are you looking for to indicate that it's okay to approach her? Uh, eye contact. Eye contact? Yeah, and uh, usually another thing is like general body language. What kind of body language? Um, usually like when they They're like... Not stiff, like, Yeah, not stiff, like yeah. like putting your hand hand through your hair, like wrist towards someone kind of thing, yeah, like yeah, yeah. being more open, you know? Right, right, right. Okay, now is there any other kind of social media you want to want to plug? Uh, just my uh, photography one. Just your photographer? Yeah. You don't have a YouTube channel or anything? No, I don't. Yeah. Again, I don't do it professionally. Like I so just So you're just photos, no videos. No, yeah, I like film. 
what 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 are some advice you have for people who want to take up photography? Um, just have fun with it. Okay, you want to give a shout out to anyone? Um, I guess shout out to uh, my roommates, Gab and Caroline. Do I have your permission to upload this to the internet? Yeah, of course.